Great projects, right? Raising a bunch of money, doing a lot of amazing things. Next on the stage, do we have him queued up? Do we have Reggie Middleton? Reggie Middleton, right here, setting up his camera because he's going live. Awesome. Reggie Middleton is going to talk about stable coins plus smart contracts, the new paradigm keynote address. Kill it. <laughs> I don't know. You guys need a slideshow. I should know if I have one or not. So, the reason I don't need a slideshow is because my concept of my topic is actually very simple. Okay? Stable coins. Anybody know what stable coins are? Raise your hand. Raise it high. Confidence. Okay? What's a stable coin? Maintains purchasing power. Maintain purchasing power. Anybody else? Quick Tied to an asset. Say it again. Tied to an asset. Tied to an asset. Okay, I don't agree with both of those because they have algorithmic stable coins that are tied to an algorithm. Maintain purchasing power. Where? If you have a US, a US dollar based stable coin, it's going to maintain purchasing power in Bitcoin. And Bitcoin shoots up to 20,000? No. But it's a difficult concept. Anybody else? Quickly. Stable coin is something that maintains a stable price relative to other assets. Okay? Now, most stable coins, or the concept of stable coins, to people in the US are centered around the US dollar. So they try to make stable coins such as Tether backed by US dollars. But, you know, my African counterparts actually told me, how can anybody consider a US dollar backed stable coin stable when US dollar is so volatile? As soon as the U.S. wants to prove a point, they drive the price of the dollar up or down, causing instability and volatility. So by definition, that's not stable. It may be stable if you're in the U.S. and you want to use U.S. dollars, but ask users of the euro, or the Nigerian naira, or the Japanese yen, or the Chinese yuan. So, a U.S. dollar back coin is not stable. A U.S. dollar um, peg coin is not stable. Okay? We've created a stable coin. My company is very tasty. There we go right there. Um, the element of truth. And what we do is we are a peer-to-peer -peer capital markets application provider. We provide software tied to the blockchain that allows you to do business directly with him without a trusted third counterparty. She can do business with her without Goldman Sachs. You can do business with him without Morgan Stanley or Citibank or the New York Stock Exchange. You deal directly. So one of the tenets of dealing directly is to be able to transfer your value from A to B without it fluctuating. That's why Bitcoin and Ethereum, etc., don't make strong transfers of value because they're very volatile. So we created a stable coin and we backed it with a hard asset. Nope, let's take that back. We created a stable coin, a stable store of value that is a hard asset. Guess what it could be? Take a guess, so we'll turn on back. Anybody guess? Come on, what? <laughs> What's this? Silver. Silver. A kilogram of silver. Okay. And what's this? A kilogram of gold. So what you do is you go to our peer-to-peer -peer application software. We have multiple categories, just like Microsoft Office, where I have Word, Excel, PowerPoint, etc. We have BE tokenization, uh, BE exposure, which is basically uh, venture capital fund given by small contracts. We have VE rent, where you can rent these tokens, and VE assets, where you can veritize, and name the public veritation, hard assets. Tokenized gold is the ultimate stable coin once it comes to transferring value. Why? Because gold is stable. Has anybody ever held gold before? A kilogram. Who would like to hold a kilogram of gold without talk? Eleanor? Pass these around? I'm very serious. I want this back. Okay. <laughs> a kilogram of gold is about forty thousand dollars in U.S. U.S. dollars. Um, a kilogram of silver is about say five hundred. Okay. And you, you will have to follow that around. Thank you. Okay. So gold has held its value for a long time. Over the last two thousand years or so, you can take one gram of gold and buy about five loaves of bread, okay? Contrast this to the current reserve currency, 
and I'm going to speed up. So if anybody doesn't know what reserve currency is, reserve currency is a currency that most of the important transactions in the world are priced in. Gold is priced in the reserve currency, which is US dollar, oil, etc. What makes the reserve currency? Well, that is the currency of the country that has the biggest guns. You have the most powerful military, you get to dictate what the rest of the world trades in. It's the US dollar currently, before the US dollar and the US, what was the reserve currency? Speak up, the pound, because the, the British pound was owned by Britain, which had the largest standing um, navy and military, most powerful military, due to imperial pursuits, but that's off to a tangent. So, 100 years ago, okay, one dollar <coughs> would buy roughly, what, four loaves of bread, or five cents would buy roughly one loaf of bread. Right now, if you go to a supermarket of Whole Foods, a loaf of bread is about five dollars. Four loaves of bread is about 20. Right now, four loaves of bread is still one gram of gold. So gold can retain constant purchasing power for 2,000 years. US dollar over 100 years has lost 95% of its purchasing power. That goes to show you how stable a store of value backed by gold is. Now, I'm not a gold buff. The reason why we chose gold is because of its lasting stability and the fact that it has certain legal rights um, and permissions that allow you to use it and not have to register with various regulatory agencies. Now, we have this token called VE Gold, and it's available right now in digital form. It represents ownership in a unit of gold. If you go to dapp.peritasing.com, you have an apple come up, hit the menu, go to VE Assets, pick the denomination you want of gold, silver, palladium, pick buy, you can buy it. If you use F, the whole process takes eight minutes or so if you pass the MLKYC. But the MLKYC person is here, so it probably won't happen that fast. Okay? <laughs> Raise your hand, Mr. MLKYC person. That is, she's having a conversation. She's right there ignoring me. Um, to give you an example of what the team looks like, this is Marilyn Charlot. Um, we pulled her from Societe Generale. She was Vice President of Financial Crimes. Sounds like a uh, Scary title, but basically she did um, anti money laundering. Okay, we have a very diverse team that helped build the stable token, which I'm going to explain a little more later uh, in a few minutes. In the front, we have Lorna Johnson. She's uh, business development. She is currently the assistant vice president for DNC. She's a successful entrepreneur, um, healthcare, real estate. We have Eleanor, who is watching my telegraph, hopefully. Eleanor is ex McKinsey, ex Goldman. Ex equity analyst. We have Andrew Smith, who may not be here. Um, he's working on the ground. He is from a $23 million fixed income fund out of New York, real estate acquisition specialist. We have Manish Kapoor, 20 years in financial analysis. We have an uh, engineering and software development team of about nine strong. We have a financial analyst team of about four strong. If you Google my name, Reggie Middleton, or if you ask Google introducing Reggie Middleton video, you see scissor wheels. I'm known for predicting the fall of Bear Stearns about six months in advance. Lehman Brothers about nine months. General growth properties, the European debt crisis, the pop of Google, the fall of Apple, the uh, European consumer debt crisis, the, re the residential uh, real estate crisis, commercial real estate crisis, about 94 calls over the last 10 or 11 years. I got into crypto in 2013. Okay, I built a lot of these peer to peer, or we built these peer to peer software. Now, back to stable tokens. Now that I've explained what a stable token is, number one, it has to be stable. We back it with gold. One token represents ownership in one unit of gold, whether it's a gram, an ounce, a kilo. Okay? Now, after we've tokenized it, you own that gold. You can do whatever you want with it. You can sell it, pledge it, lose it, destroy it, keep it, save it, give it to your grandkids. Whenever you want the actual gold, you send it back to us. You pass AMLKYC. You give us an address, we ship the gold to you. It's just that simple. You own the gold physically. Usually when you buy the gold, it's only person in the vault. You get a paper receipt, we are giving you an ERC-20 token receipt. That ERC-20 token receipt rides along the blockchain with all the blockchain attributes, and now instead of being a paper receipt, it can act as a store value, collateral, pledge, etc., etc. Now, it rides on the ERC-20 platform, which means it rides on the Ethereum blockchain. Right? All altcoins and stable coins, etc., seem to go up and down with the 
um, promise of Bitcoin and Ethereum. Bitcoin and Ethereum is going to hard, about 80% over the last five, six, seven, eight months. All the altcoins fell with it. So, who's smart? Raise your hand. Oh, please. Let's try this again. Who's smart? Raise your hand. Okay, so, the first one to raise your hand is the woman right there. Okay, so, you buy the you buy kilogram of gold without tokens. Right in the ear of the Syrian blockchain. The Syrian corrects 80% again. The tokens go down 80%. What do you do as this very smart person? Speak up quickly. Pressure. Hurry up, quick, quick, what? You don't know? You wait. Who else is smart? You sell it. You sell it at an 80% discount. Okay, who else is smart? Buy it. What? You're cheating. You're working. Who else is smart? What would you do? Buy more. Okay, now, you have buy, hold, sell. So, three different answers. We did two of them. You cheated too, but you will buy more. Listen, you have you buy more than $40,000 spot price per kilogram. It drops 80%. Let's say 75%. That means it's trading at $10,000. Okay, all you have to do is take that gold and redeem it to us. We'll give you $40,000 worth of gold. So, if you could buy $40,000 worth of gold for $10,000, what would you do for the next two or three days? Buy as much gold as you can. Redeem it, sell it, and get instant profit. That's called market arbitrage. Whenever prices differ, um, move outside of equilibrium, out of fair value, you simply buy the overpriced, I mean the underpriced um, asset, or you sell the overpriced asset, and you come back to the uh, mean. It's guaranteed money. Now, if you, everybody buys this gold because it's selling at an 80% discount, what's going to happen to the gold token price? It goes up, guaranteed, because greed drives it up, market arbitrage. Let's say it goes up to four. So it's $40,000 for a key, it goes up to $150,000. What is the smart person going to do? So, when you sell it, what happens to the price? It goes down. It's going to go down until what price? Come on, buddy, tell me out. The equilibrium, the spot price of gold. So, Market forces are going to force this token to stay above the spot price of gold. If it drops, people are going to buy. If it goes too high, they're going to sell. Market equilibrium, I mean market arbitrage, and human greed or human nature keeps it at the spot price of gold. And the spot price of gold has been pretty much constant for about 5,000 years. That's a stable token. It's stable in Japanese yen, Chinese yuan, euros, um, Swiss francs, anything, anything you can think of. Okay, choose the building. Now, it gets better because it rides on the Ethereum blockchain. And riding on the Ethereum blockchain, you have all the attributes of the blockchain. You have a provenance and an audit trail, so you can always tell where it went. And you can make use of these special pieces of code called smart contracts. Thank you, thank you very much. He's cheating too, because he, he's seen this before, but that's all right. So, if you can make this a smart contract, you have an internationally renowned stable token with 5,000 years of stability history. It rides through the blockchain, which means it can go over state borders, country borders, across oceans, everywhere in the world, for pennies. And it can do it conditionally through a smart contract. That condition could be very simple. I will send four grams of gold, which is $150, right, to that small person who got the answer right anytime after 4 p.m. or anytime before 8 p.m. Relatively simple, small contract. Or an advanced contract that we're building now. A mortgage note and a mortgage. So we're building mortgage notes and mortgages to finance a hard money loan to buy a development property for a developer in Jersey City. Right? The entire note, the entire mortgage is built on the blockchain using a smart contract, using the gold token as the store of value. I don't want to say currency because it's not the currency, but the store of value. Which means now, if everybody cooperates in the value chain, we can have a real estate closing 45 seconds or less. I don't know who's bought property before, but you're talking about 30 days to about six to eight months. 
Google in 45 seconds. With no credit risk, no counterparty risk, guaranteed payments. Anything that's going through, it gets flagged by the system. You can see exactly what went wrong, very easy to fix. Okay, small contracts using the, the stable token that we have, we can go, they're unreachable. You can't break it. The value, the gold, is put into the blockchain and stored in the contract. So unreachable, self-administering, self-executing, okay, and perfect provenance chain. Provenance means you can tell exactly where everybody went. All the tokens, the value went from here to there at this particular time for everybody to see. This is the invention of the blockchain. This is what made Bitcoin so phenomenal. No, it's not about trading tokens back and forth. It's not about speculating on prices going high or low. It's about now, you can do business with anybody in the world. You don't have to worry about their credit rating, their credit risk, their counterparty risk, their balance sheet, their name, their religion, because you can't enter the contract with somebody and you can guarantee that contract's terms will execute as agreed. The biggest risk, you've got a lot to agree to. So you read the contract. Now, Raise your hands. Does anybody think this is a phenomenal undertaking? Raise your hands. Hi. I'm going to attack anyone who doesn't have their hands up. Just so you know. It's as simple. Go to veritation.com. You get to see our video. Okay, we have a little documentary we did in Dubai. Go to the um, menu from the upper right hand corner. You can meet our team, VE team, very first team. It's about 23 of us. And you can see what we're up to. One of the first. Um, efforts that we're making with the stable token is we're going to Africa. Why? Africa has 1.39 billion citizens. This 1.39 billion citizens creates one of the largest workforces in the world, second only to the country of China. But it has 54 nations, right? China only has one. So how do we solve this problem? We take this stable token and we use it to tie all 54 countries together. Their economies, their exchanges, the small businesses, the medium-sized businesses, oil, gas, coal, gold, etc. Africa has the largest store of natural resources in the world, and right now, almost everything is on set. Equity markets in recession. I want to keep going until he says stop. He hasn't said stop yet. All the way, everybody. Thank you very much. Shout out to Patrick. Yeah. I, 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 I